When did it become so embarrassing to just be a comedian for a living? Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the Hedberg joke. What is it? When, like, you come to L.A. as a comedian, like, oh, you're a comedian. Do you act? Yeah. Do you write? It's like, oh, you're a chef. Do you farm? Like, <laughs> that's, that's, no. that's what I do with the thing that I'm doing. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, I'll get in my head about, like, there's not, like <laughs> comedians are superstars now. Comedians are just legit, like, 15 years ago, comedians were comedians, but they weren't celebrities. Right, 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 right. Now it's like, people are doing basketball stand, like, on the reg. It's wild. You but know, that's like, don't you think a lot of the people, though, that are doing ba stadiums aren't on traditional network television that we were all trying to get approval of? Daddy, daddy. Yeah, yeah. It's all like the YouTube people. But it's but to look at somebody like, oh, because you're not playing a stadium, you're not successful as a comic. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, dude. Yeah. Hey, Andrew Schultz. <laughs> You. But, yeah. Like, can we all just be comedians without having to wear capes and have well, flames when well, we walk out? <laughs> You're like, Jesus, man. Honestly, I want that outfit, but for when I sell like 58 tickets in Omaha, but I still <laughs> throwing a couple smoke bombs out. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you're like one of the funniest comics ever. Get that. Right. I really do. It you know makes what? I'll me take mad. it. I'm trying to be better about compliments. You hey, know thanks. what's weird? Thank you. You did close your eyes so we didn't make eye contact. I, <laughs> I, I actually appreciate that part. Yeah, that part. By the way, thank. Thank you. I'm um, really noticing this hole in the table. I'm already bit, sweating. <laughs> but it's kind of like there's when you're a comic and you watch other people do comedy, there's like, that's funny. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, that's funny. You know, that's a good joke. You know, oh, that's funny. Yeah. And then the next level is like jealousy. You're like, yeah. oh, I'll never be that good. And yeah. then there's comedy that actually makes a comic be a fan of comedy and yeah. just get to be like someone in the audience. Yeah. And watching your last special, I was just like a person watching comedy. Oh, that, that that means a lot. Thank you. That's the yeah. nicest thing I've ever said to anyone. No, it, even if it sounds weird because of my personality and voice. No, I <laughs> even if it sounds weird because of everything about I'm, I know me it sounds like, like I'm gaslighting you. No, I, I know what you mean though. You like you forget that this is like, oh I'm I'm just being entertained. Like the people sitting in the audience. Yep. Honestly, moving to Portland has been one of the best because now I go and I I don't watch comedy specials on TV. I'm a little worried. I'm, like, first off, I see enough comedy, but I'm a little worried about the osmosis of consuming it in the background at home or something. Interesting, because you it, worry it'll affect yeah, how you Yeah, so think. at least I can like have some plausible deniability as to like the, the, the originality of the stuff that's coming out. But, it shows, because I mean, people say like he's West Coast to tell, like this, you know? Like just in terms of how much everybody loves you. And you, uh, I'm not. Yeah, I was gonna like not, not, not on the humor level. No, Nobody's no, no. Touching that guy. We, but like <laughs> that's how we see you is like the funniest guy. That's like you know just oh, is cool, it's yeah. just all about the quality. Um, but the, your rhythms and like how how you everything like wraps up and is so satisfying. But it's so conversational, but it has such incredible jokes. Like it's I, there's no one to really compare it to. I think, like I said, like being in Portland, going to going to Helium there and watching my friends come through, but do their hours. Like you never see uh, anybody do an hour here. You know, you see true. everybody do their spot. You see everybody dick around with minutes, ten minutes, fifteen 12. minutes, yeah. And now I sit and I watch what they are presenting to uh, somebody who paid to be at the club, and it's so rewarding to see the final product. Like I went and saw the Sklar Brothers a couple weeks ago. And I've seen them like you see them like they get in their rhythm a little bit with the shorter sets. Yeah, like, yeah. But their hour, I was like howling. I was, I was like having a great time at the with everybody else in the audience. That's awesome. Just having a blast watching that, and that's I think to the set like I, like you know I've done enough like oh I tried to do Edinburgh once didn't go well, but I've done some other. Festivals. Has it gone well for anyone ever? <laughs> Besides Phoebe Waller Bridge. Okay. Has yeah, anyone but, ever not Somebody wins the Sparkling Water Award? Come back and, on Lexa Pro. I mean, it's like everyone I know that goes there, like you go for 30 days. It sucks. There's no one in the audience, and yep. then you get reviewed by a journalist. Yeah. On a on a show that you didn't know, and there's five people there and you got poisoning from the black mold because my ven <laughs> my venue was literally a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> like this is where they threw bodies during the plague, but that's uh, that's sponsored by Michelob this year or whatever whatever equivalent they got overseas. But you, you you watch enough of those shows where some of it's the 
what do they call it? Ha like hamburger essays where it's like the most basic, like for a one person show, here's the introduction. Oh, my father sure taught me a lot of lessons. Then in the middle is just your act. And at the end, your conclusion restates the introduction. Like, and those were the lessons my father taught me. And people are like, oh my God, it came full no, yeah, circle. Yes, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. And, and so I watched enough of those where like when it's done well, it is really rewarding yeah. to watch like a really fun show that is maybe more thought out than just these individual chunk, jokes. Chunk, 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 chunk. Yeah. So, and I, you know, I work a lot. You know, I work two or three weekends every month. And so I got an hour to figure stuff out. I can't write a lot of jokes, but I can write one and just just beat out of it Milanesa style until it's covering a half hour of the hour. Well, it's so <laughs> well thought out. Do you, what's your, do you like write jokes and then start to see connections and callbacks and stories start just getting bigger as you tell them or do you yeah. write everything Well, out? I mean, you like, you know, when you're like, oh, I'm about to repeat this story because this group hasn't heard it yet. Yeah. I'll spice it up a little more from last time. Make it fun for me. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you start doing that and all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I'm telling the same story for 30 minutes instead of 10 minutes because yeah. you found this detail. It's funny. You're like, <laughs> oh, if I go off on this, I had this joke about the gr the grocery store, but I saw a brand of something I bought once when I was a kid and a crazy thing. Like you start adding all that stuff onto it. Yeah, yeah. And just, it, I think it's just, you do comedy long enough that you start. You hmm. get a, like the guy that I'm hanging out with, like, no, like it's weird because I feel like comedy f fans know more about comedy than we do. In a weird they like, do totally. They'll be like, "Oh, have you heard of this person?" I'm like, "No, I don't." I go, I go on the stand up subreddit. I'm like, "Oh, these people are psychos." <laughs> yeah, but and I don't like. I don't like that it's become like it's 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 elevating and things into like comedians or sub celebrities. We're not. No, no, no. Uh, no, no I no. mean, it's hard to in our thing maybe. Yeah. Within our strata. Yeah. Pirates. Pir yeah. Yeah subreddits of like i'm going to see the show how should i approach them afterwards should i like try to shake their hand or something just calm down first I haven't off seen this subreddit what is it don't, just... don't i don't even want to tell you about it it's not worth it don't don't do it <laughs> i'm like no I don't... but it's just reddit in general again it's social media it's not good it's an eternal comment section is all reddit is totally okay but it's i'm up my own ass so i search for my name on there and you get <laughs> you get big like you know who's funny Kyle connect. I get enough compliments get. because I'm not big enough to be torn down yet. I'm like, leave it alone. Leave it here. Consistently give me a B plus. That's all I want. I we're not getting like, into we're not getting into a good college. We're going to a state school, but with baby, maybe they'll give us a couple bucks. That's all we need. 